Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Monday the 23rd of July. Recording this is the previous weekend as I will be travelling Monday and Tuesday. So I'm going to do two setups today on different time frames, different platforms that we developed for. But very briefly in our members area for the scanners membership for Wave5 Trade. We give our members uh, daily signals on potential long fifth wave trades, short fifth wave trades on the weekly, daily and the 60 minute time frames on both directions. Also stochastic longs and short trades. I'm going to look at uh, long trades today. Two long trades, uh, one on the daily time frame and one on the 60 minute time frame. As you see for the 23rd, all our members do is click the image here and download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet for Monday the 23rd looks to me like this. So on the daily time frame, these are potential fifth wave trades on the daily time frame to go long. Getting ready to set up. So this is the daily time frame. I've chosen Weight Watchers on this one. And then on the 60 minute, these are the potential long trades, including things like Amazon, PayPal, Google, quite a lot on there. I've chosen one of those uh, to go through on the 60 minute time frame. So first of all, let's go through Weight Watchers. Uh, I'm going to use the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave5Trade.com for NinjaTrader NT8 platform for this one. And then when we go through to the next one, we'll use a different platform. So um, first of all, for those members that have got the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, if you go down to the lows down here around about um, the 27th of November, isolate your wave count, part of the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, and we get the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on this. Um, little uh, bullish move and then we get some sideways action and then we've got the recent trend on uh, Weight Watchers measured there and we've just pulled back on a way for pullback and that's what we're interested in and that's what our scan results uh, give us those that starting point if you like so first of all the information the filters that we use to put those signals together the first one the filter is the the wave for us pulled back against the main trend. Okay, it's found support in the amber zone in our probability zones here, and that's an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones up here in blue at the top of the chart. Target around about 110, 111 dollars, something like that. The next filter is the 535. We're all we're, we're actually trying to. Uh, get those high probability trades where the wave four has behaved within certain parameters. And this next parameter, the 535 oscillator, has pulled back between 90 and 140%. So the probability zone's been hit for the wave four support. The 535 is between 90 and 140. And now the, uh, the stochastic has pulled back in the oversold zone, crossed over, ready to go back up. So those three basic filters. Then we need to look at the entry. Now for the entry, we use our 6-4 moving average high here in green on the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite and that gives us our entry position. So we want to be outside of that for Monday's bar position and so we've gone for a 96.19 entry. The stop loss is at 88.90 below this wave for low. So that gives us a risk to reward of one to two into our target zone there. Great risk to reward, being sensible on the entry, making sure that we are continuing this move away from this wave four support and we're returning back to the main bullish trend. So we've gone reasonably conservative outside the 6.4 moving average high above the whole $96 mark. And this looks good for the long on Weight Watchers on the daily time frame. Usually this takes between 9 and 25 days to hit. Um, it's a, there's a little bit um, difference in those days purely because uh, Trump tweets, volatility, tariffs. The markets are very volatile at the moment. So you'll find pullbacks during that fifth wave trade. Uh, and sometimes it can take up to 30 days, some of these uh, trades. Um, so that's where we are right now. So this is Weight Watches on the daily using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave5Trade.com for the Ninja Trader NT8 platform. Let's look at a 60 minute potential trade from our scan results. And this is using the Think or Swim version of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. I've gone for UTX on the 60 minute time frame on the hourly. 
Uh, very basically, again, we've got these lows, these uh, almost you know, technical double bottom here, slightly new low. So this is where we isolate the wave count and then the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite does its thing and labels those one, two, three, four. And again, it's the wave four that we're interesting in and uh, using to set up our potential long trade here on UTX. So let's just go through those filters again. The wave four on this 60 minute chart for UTX has pulled back and found support in the green zone of our probability zones. That's an 85% probability it's going to go on. Make that new wave five high into our automated target zones here, around about 133.50 in the middle of that target zone there. The 535 oscillator has pulled back between 90 and 140%, and the stochastic has pulled back in the into the oversold zone, crossed over and ready to go higher again. Again, when the entry strategy is devised, we're using the 6.4 moving average high. But in this case as well, we need to make sure we're above this recent pivot from Friday. So Friday's high as well. So we're way outside the 6.4 moving average high, the green moving average here for the first hour uh, of Monday's session. But we're also above all of this sort of consolidation on Thursday and the high on Friday here. So an entry at 131.09 is quite sensible here just to make sure that we are going to move away from that support level. The stop loss, 129.75. Okay, so a little bit below here, but it's a, it's a more expensive stock. Uh, you know, when we get over that $100 point, we need to make sure we are, we are a good 10, 20 cents below that wave for low there. So the wave for low is around about 129.75. Entry 131.09 and then the target 133.50 into the middle of that target zone is over our minimum requirement of risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 and we cover that in our boot camp uh, series that comes with the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite because we always like to make sure when we're swing trading we've got a minimum risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 with our sensible entry strategy to our uh, target zone here. So that's it. Um, two great looking trades, one on the daily on Weight Watchers and one on the 60 minute for UTX for Monday the 23rd. There'll be no video tomorrow, but I'll be back on Wednesday. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all soon.